On my workbench today, I have a computer that I just finished setting up. It's a Windows computer, and um, you can see it here with the floppy disk drive and the DVD drive. And something different about this is that this one is set up as a dual boot system. And in about thir or 11 seconds, or it's going to boot up to Windows XP. Uh, the other system on here is uh, Windows 98, so I just wanted to demonstrate that to you. Something about this computer, it's running a Pentium P4 at 2 gigahertz. It has 1 gigabyte of RAM, 40 gigabyte hard drive that I split in half. So it's about 20 gigs for each operating system. And um, it, has a, it has a Creative Labs... Um, Fiber 128 sound card with uh, with a game port, and I put some software in each of them. As you can see, this one has uh, has uh, Microsoft Pinball Arcade. Then it also has Windows XP. Uh, I mean, uh, Microsoft Windows, Microsoft Office XP. Um, going into the control panel down over here to system. You can see that it's Windows XP Home Edition Service Pack 2 and it's got the Pentium P4 2 gigahertz, two gigahertz processor with one gigabyte of RAM here, 0.99. So we're gonna, I'm gonna close this up now and demonstrate how that it, let's hit restart show how that it has a dual boot system and it can go right back into Windows 98 after restarting here. Okay, and then it's going to use the arrows here and drop that down there and hit enter. And we've got Windows 98 starting up. Pretty soon you're gonna hear the uh, rather annoying Windows 98 uh, welcome screen. That part's not annoying too much, but this other one that's gonna jump up here, there you go. So this one I put, um, have Doom on here, then some classic arcade games set up on there. And going into, it also has, this one has um, Microsoft Office uh, 97 Professional on it. So I'm going to go into settings here and control panel and then scroll down to system. And see it's Windows 98 second edition. It's got the um, one gigabyte of RAM. It doesn't say P4 on here, but it's running the P4 same same uh, processor. There's some controversy on how much RAM that Windows 98 can run on. Uh, many people say it needs to be under 512, but this one's running just fine with no changes with one gigabyte of RAM on Windows 98 SE. So there you go, my dual boot. Windows machine.